I just noticed the flowers in bloom in the back there, just <laughs> know, like that. It's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's spring cleaning week on PTL. So far, we've cleaned out our junk drawers, our makeup bags, toy bins, and today we are tackling clutter from our cupboards, basements, and garages. Yeah, but we're not just tossing that junk in the trash. Mm -hmm. Justin Stockdale with the Pennsylvania Resources Council is here to show us the right way to dispose of it, and he's also quizzing us to see if we know what should be recycled, reused, or tossed away. And this gets kind of complicated. It does. Uh, less complicated than you want it to, to believe it to be, right? Okay. It's, uh, recycling yeah. is extraordinarily simple when you get right down to it. There's a lot of noise out there, though, that makes us feel like I have no idea what to do into the trash it goes. Right. So we'll talk a little bit today about a whole bunch of different stuff that, uh, again, you might think it's not recyclable. You might, you know, not know what to do with it, but there are definitely places to take all of this stuff. Okay. Okay. So, do we are we doing the quiz first? Or you we, want to go to the items? Sure. Let's just go. Well, the quiz. This is the quiz. This is okay. the quiz. This okay. So the let's quiz. start down here. I say yes. This all can be recycled down here. Yep. The glass bottle. Well, in, unless you live in certain neighborhoods. Yeah. So this is where it comes to the confusing <laughs> part, right? right. right. So. In Glass is still recycled in your curbside bin and other places. You've got to bring it to a special place to be recycled, mm -hmm. right? The point is, glass is truly recyclable. It's very recyclable. It's just finding the right place to take it. And again, as we walk down the, the sort of the quiz here this morning, that's a lot of what we're going to talk about. Is things belong? They can be recycled as long as they get to where they should go. Uh, the next one there, are the plastic grocery bags, the newspaper bags that the Post Gazette comes in. Right. Um, they're absolutely recyclable. There's a lot of demand for them. There's people that use them, turn them into new products. Um, but it's you can't just put. Side bin, they need to go back to your grocery store or your retailer okay. to get them recycled. Not curbside. Okay, Not what curbside. about the medicine? Medicine, again, another great example. Recycle your medicine, but we'll handle it properly, right? So there are collection events that PRC operates twice a year, plus there are some 40 uh, permanent drop off locations in municipal buildings at police stations around Allegheny County um, where the medicines go back into a system where they're managed responsibly. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to flush them down a toilet. You don't want to, you know, throw them out in your trash. You certainly don't want to leave them lying around in the medicine cabinet. Right. Um, you want to get them into a system that manages them responsibly and gets them to the place that, that they can be reasonably handled. Those okay. light bulbs, same story right out in front. Okay. Right, again, there, there's a, just a tiny little bit of mercury in those bulbs, but it, there is mercury in those bulbs. So we really deeply encourage people um, not out in your trash. Uh, a lot of the retailers, Lowe's, Home Depot will take them back for recycling. PRC, again, runs collection events for them. Um, you have to, you know, put the effort in to manage these materials, but ultimately, you know, in the big picture, we acquired this stuff, so we have some responsibility to how it, how it gets managed. That's one that I didn't know. I didn't know that you couldn't just throw your light bulbs in the trash. I feel like... So I've always done that. Especially those curly Q ones, right? right. They're the real they're ones special. that we really worry about because okay. uh, just the way they're made. All right, so this, the, I would call this styrofoam. Yeah, we call it as expanded polystyrene. It's a trade okay. name, is styrofoam. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, highly recyclable stuff. Um, really? It is. I thought Absolutely. this was not and that we shouldn't be making it. I thought that this goes in the trash because they can't recycle it. So uh, we run into problems again. I won't say it's confusing, but if there's a styrofoam plate that's got a half of a, you know, a piece of fried chicken on it, you're never going to recover that. You'll never recycle it. But a piece of packaging foam that was wrapped around oh. a TV or something like that, it's absolutely recyclable. This wow. is so, I hate. And it's interesting. So uh, this is twice so now I've, I've been on the show uh, to, to bring and been asked to bring some styrofoam with me, polystyrene with me, and I haven't found any at home because we're just not finding it yeah. so much anymore. Good and stuff. I'll segue down to this end of the table because I think this is interesting that, you know, packaging, right? So these yeah. plastic air filled pillows are replacing that stuff broadly in our homes and how we receive things in the mail. And that can be recycled? Recycled with a plastic bag. Fantastic. Right, so that's good, that's good. What about the glass? And the glass dishes, that's an example of what glass is not recyclable, right? So oh. when we talk about glass recycling, um, people often want to believe, well, if it's glass, therefore it's recyclable. Um, those kind of glasses, whether it's dishes or the Pyrex is really a problem. Ceramics often get confused with glass or people want to put their ceramic the old mm -hmm. coffee mugs in with the glass recycling. Uh, glass recycling is really about bottles, right? Okay. It's really about, you know, beverage containers. So what about our plastic containers, our Tupperware, if we want to get rid of that and go through that? So your Tupperware, again, uh, the plastic recycling uh, perceived as, is complicated. It's simple. If it's a bottle shape, it's recyclable in your curbside bin. If it's not a bottle shape, it's not recyclable in your curbside bin. Now, when it gets to Tupperware, though, there are lots of outlets for, you know, your Tupperware that you don't want anymore, even if it might be missing a lid, right? So places like Pittsburgh Center for Creative Reuse, um, can always use Tupperware containers, mm -hmm. even without lids, for you know mixing paints in for craft projects. Um, you can even use them as, in your home as reuse. And what about the clothing here? 
again, another great example is your spring cleaning and cleaning out closets. This is me digging through my closet and a bunch of old t-shirts that don't fit. And then, you know, I, they're not going to go in the trash. We'll, they'll go to Goodwill. They'll go to uh, sure. some other nonprofit in the region that can make sure they're going to still have a life and, and continued use. Same goes for, you know, you're, you bought new sheets or changed the color of your bedroom. Don't just throw those sheets away. There's somebody else out there that can use them. And a big industry now to recycle boxes and cardboard. C cardboard's a big one, right? And again, we see more and more of it in our home. It's grown uh, in the past 10 years. It's really overwhelmed the recycling world, the volume of cardboard we're receiving in our homes. And so all of that can go out in your regular curbside bin. That's regular curbside yeah. stuff. And okay. There's loads of demand for it. It, it goes with the chipboard as well. Um, it can be recycled over and over and over again and come right back to you as a new cardboard box. All right, in awesome. front of those boxes, you have some cans. Yeah, the, the, the tin and metal cans, uh, tin and aluminum cans, again, curbside bin. The metal okay. cans will always be in your curbside bin. That won't change. And the last thing we have on the end out here is uh, household chemicals, which again is another one of those like we started with at the other end of the table. Um, it's going to need to come to a specialized collection event to be managed properly to make sure that it's not uh, going to end up polluting some other ecosystem somewhere else. Right. Good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I learned I'm doing some of it right and some of it wrong. So thank you, Justin. You're very welcome. Hopefully, we covered enough in four minutes to I know yeah. to solve so some fast. people's spring cleaning it. problems. Well, thank to learn you. more about the right way to recycle on the Pennsylvania Resources Council website. You will find their link at PittsburghTodayLive.com. I'm and watching as we continue spring. I'm so excited about spring cleaning week. I just took your line. That's all right. <laughs> Tomorrow we wrap it all up with the best cleaning products to get the job done right and maybe even a little easier with Handy Andy Amrine.